I'm in the ancient city of Harar in Ethiopia, one of the birthplaces of Islam, and within these walls of the UNESCO World Heritage Site live 40,000 people. But I'm not here for the history. As night falls and the streets quieten down, a rather surprising animal moves in. Hyenas. Hyenas have been being fed in Harar for the last two to three hundred years. It started with food being left out for them as part of a religious belief, but 60 years ago, a few local guys started feeding them by hand. Now Yusuf and his son Abbas are the main two hyena men in Harar. They feed them nightly as part of this ongoing ritual and get up to 40 hyenas turning up at their feeding sites. However, with something as bizarre as this going on, it has of course drawn the attention of tourists and minibus loads of tourists turn up nightly to watch and even take part in this feeding. It's not just wildlife that comes to Harar at night in the form of the hyenas. We're in the meat market and it's brimming with life. Lots of people come in and buying their dinner for the night. It's also the rooftops are lined with kites that are swooping in and grabbing any morsels on the ground and also, unfortunately, robbing a few people's dinner off them as they head out from the butchers. Kites like hyenas, are opportunistic scavengers, and this isn't the first city I've seen that make the most of human existence. It's quite surreal. I photographed urban foxes, but I'm back where the kites were this morning. Instead of kites, there's now three hyenas. And to sit here a few feet from them as they eat the scraps of meat that have been left from the day's butchery and also just they do leave them out for the hyenas as well. So anything that the dogs don't touch the hyenas get. I think seeing hyenas on safari out on the plains. I never thought I'd expect to see them in the heart of a city. 200,000 people live here in Harar. This isn't just like a little town on the edge of the bush. This is a big place. It's been a long night following and tracking the hyenas of Harar and now we're finishing up at a Christian abattoir where they've been uh, slaughtering cows all night because it's tradition here to eat raw meat in the morning. But all the scraps on the ground have attracted the local dogs, um, loads of yellow-billed kites and all along the top there are hooded vultures. I set my camera up with a flash in a corner next to a pile of meat and the vultures soon come swooping in. Harar is a walled city and historically its gates were shut at night to keep invaders out. This also kept hyenas out though, so special hyena gates were created to allow them entrance to clean the city. It was my aim to get a shot of a hyena using one of the special hyena gates. First I tried without flash and once they were comfortable with that I decided to then try with flash which worked pretty well. With all these people living inside the old and new city, there is a lot of rubbish around. So one of the best places to hang out is near the various dumpsters dotted around the edge of the city. Setting up my camera in these dumpsters is the perfect way of getting some shots of them scavenging. But with all these hyenas around, it means just as there is on the plains, there are numerous fights for territory when one clan bumps into another on the streets of Harar. Harar isn't some tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. Within the old city and the new city, 200,000 people live here and it's astonishing that living alongside them each night there's clans of hyenas coming and cleaning up. I've seen these guys roaming the plains of Zambia, but to have them scavenging out of garbage cans kind of puts our urban foxes to shame. <laughs> 